Welcome to a lesson on how to use the Desmos grapher at desmos.com to determine relative or local extrema of a cubic function. The function f of x equals x cubed minus 11x squared plus 14x plus 80 has one local minimum and one local maximum. We're asked to use a graph of the function to estimate the local extrema. So we'll determine the location as well as the values of the local extrema using the Desmos grapher. So the first step is to go to desmos.com and click Launch Calculator. Next, let's change the grapher to projector mode to make the graph easier to view. So we'll click on the graph settings by clicking on the wrench and we'll click projector mode. Notice below is where we can also change the scaling on the X and Y axes. Let's exit the settings by clicking on the wrench again or just clicking on the coordinate plane. And now we're going to go to the far left in this first box and enter the function. So we'll enter Y equals. To enter X cubed, we press X and then Shift 6 puts the cursor in the exponent position. And then we'll enter 3, right arrow to exit the exponent, minus 11. To enter X squared, we'll press X, Shift 6, 2, right arrow to exit the exponent. And then we have plus 14X plus 80. So now we do have the graph of the function, but we need to adjust the window. So there are two main ways to adjust the window. We can go back to the graph settings by clicking on the wrench and adjust the scaling on the X and Y axes manually, or we can use the zoom out and zoom in buttons here on the right. The plus is zoom in, the minus is zoom out. So let's actually zoom out before we adjust the axes manually. So let's click the wrench or click on the coordinate plane to close the graph settings. And let's click the minus sign to zoom out. So zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. If we want to, we can click and drag the graph down to better position the graph. Let's continue to zoom out. So zoom out. And notice now we can see the high point and low point on the graph, but we should adjust the horizontal or x-axis to get a better view of the graph. Let's change the x minimum to, let's say, negative 10 and the x maximum to positive 15. So we'll click on the wrench for graph settings, click on the x-axis minimum, change this to negative 10, and then change the x maximum to, let's say, 15. And now if we close the graph settings, we have a very nice view of the cubic function where this high point will give us the local maximum and this low point will give us the local minimum. One of the great features about the Desmos grapher is if we go back and click on the equation of the function, notice how several of the key points of the graph are now graphed in gray. And if we scroll over those points, Desmos will give us the coordinates of these key points. Notice how the cubic function has three horizontal or x-intercepts. We have one here at negative 2 comma 0, one here at 5 comma 0, and one here at 8 comma 0. So by just scrolling over the points, we can view the coordinates of these key points. Notice how we can also see the vertical intercept or y-intercept is at 0 comma 80. But again, our question is asking us to determine the local extrema, where this point gives us the local minimum, the location is the x-coordinate, and the local minimum value is the y-coordinate. So f of x has a local minimum at approximately 6.629, and the local minimum value is approximately negative 19.27. So these are only approximate values, but this is all the question asks for. This high point gives us the local maximum, where again, the x-coordinate is the location, and the y-coordinate is the local maximum value. So our function f of x has a local maximum at approximately x equals 0.704, and a local maximum value of approximately 84.75. Let's go back and record this information. So again, the function has a local minimum at approximately 6.629, and the local minimum value or output value, which is the y-coordinate, is approximately negative 19.27, and the function has a local maximum at approximately x equals 0.704, and the local maximum value or upper value, which once again is the y-coordinate, is approximately 84.75. I hope you found this helpful.